Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm sorry I couldn't post for a couple of days. I, will, I got a little busy, but uh, the market is uh, dumping as uh, you know, uh, we know that Bitcoin was uh, getting a little bit weaker, but let's see what's going on with Darkcoin at the moment. Okay, so we can see that, you know, it made this, uh, you know, beautiful cup and handle pattern over here and then broke towards the upside. It had the target for the cup and then, you know, it met it after the breakout. So that was that, and then you know we had the big dump. After the big dump, we had this area of uh, support right over here. At the, I told you we were gonna come and find some support at the 0 0.5 level. If it goes a little bit below, we had this neckline over here that was a solid support for Darkheim. Not only that, we had this volume profile uh, over here. And we had the strongest support at the volume profile as well. Okay, so a lot of support was there, but we have broken down. The reason we broke this down is, uh, you know, one thing, Bitcoin was coming down. And second thing, if you go to the weekly time frame, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, so we had this resistance over here. Okay, clearly. And we had this support level over here. Okay, so you can see it was creating a rising wedge. And rising wedge got broken towards the downside. You can see we couldn't close a weekly candle above this resistance level. If we would have closed it above it, then um, uh, you know fireworks would have taken place. But obviously, market fell towards the downside. We broke this support level. We came towards the downside, and now we have actually come and found some support at this level because usually rising wedge target levels are at the bottom of the wedge okay now if even if you go in the you know the bring out your uh rsi i mean sorry the moving average you can see the 20 moving average was rejecting the price you know so rejection was taking place and then the price came and fell towards the downside now if you go in the rsi in the daily time frame you had this beautiful ascending triangle formation but you can see when we were making a uh, higher high formation here the RSI was rejecting it, so we had a bearish divergence in place. Obviously, the price had to come down. Okay, so now if we can keep this momentum, let me just take this off really quickly. Okay, if we can find this bottom over here, and Bitcoin, you know, it gets stable somewhere around the 29 to 31, and we can say this is the bottom, you know, then obviously this can be turned into. Uh, let me show you in the daily time frame. Okay, it can be taking a shape of a one, two, like a triple bottom, okay? This triple bottom formation, it can certainly do that only if it decides to have this as its bottom, okay? But now, if you go in the monthly time frame and you zoom out, okay? You zoom out, you can see what's going on here. You can see, uh, let me show you. If you close a monthly candle below this level now, okay, you can see we have never closed a monthly candle below this level. If you close a monthly candle below, let me just point it out, 72 cents and 7.44, and you close a little bit below it, then I'm going to tell you the price is going to come down, okay? But if you move towards the upside, and you fill in, you know, like a wick and everything, then obviously that's going to be a bullish candle, okay? Because you can see in the monthly time frame, we have never closed below this price range. Now, if you go and measure this move all the way above, you can clearly see we have always fell down to the 0 0.5 level and we have found support at the 61 cents area, about 62 cents, okay? So, but this is a very important thing. If we, if we do close below this area, below this line, this level will be broken, okay? It will come down and probably, you know, obviously then Bitcoin has uh, done something uh, extremely crazy and market is going to take a big dump. Then that's the indication that I can give you. At the moment, uh, this falling wedge has already reached its price target. Now it's just... Uh, uh, you know, like if it can find, uh, you know, if this is the bottom, then obviously uh, we can start moving towards the upside. And you can see in the weekly time frame, price came down, went up, came down, bottom, went up, came down, bottom. You can see this beautiful triple bottom formation, okay? And if 
this triple bottom formation gets validated and Bitcoin starts moving upwards, obviously this is going to start moving upwards as well. Or Darkon has a very good uh, you know news coming out. Then obviously then this is the price target from here till here and so on the rest is going to be history okay from here till here basically because this is a triple bottom triple bottom has a price target towards the upside now if it does go to the, towards the downside obviously it's going to come towards like in the monthly time frame i can show you if it does break this level close a monthly candle below it we still have 21 days a lot of time left okay we will certainly come down to these levels okay so keep an eye on that and uh, hopefully let's see i think whatever it's doing it's uh, I think that could be the bottom in my viewpoint because uh, uh, if you take a look at the volume at the moment, let's see the volume. Okay, we did get some volume come in, but not as much as I expect. If we get more volume, that would be great. In the one hourly, we are getting some volume, but you can see this moving average, 20 moving average is it keeps on rejecting the price. So obviously, if it goes and hits maybe 81 or 79 cents, and then we again get rejected by the 20, it might come down. I'll show you something in the lower time frames Very quickly. Take this off. Okay, if you look at this uh, four hours, maybe. We are oversold at the moment. That's why we're having a little bit of this rally. Okay, if you look at, let me see, where was it? Okay, this dump that happened, this big dump that happened in the previous uh, uh, fall. Okay, let me show you something. See, we had this low, we had this low, and then we made a bullish divergence here. Okay, so the price went up, came back down, RSI went up found support at the higher level okay so that was a bullish divergence and obviously you can see over here as well price was here hidden bullish divergence uh, the pump happened okay so we might see something very similar over here because you can see last time we had this huge dump the rsi came all the way down to 12 cents uh, 12 uh, 11 to 12 okay over here we are again at the 17 level okay so obviously if the price goes up here's the 20 comes back down there's a chance we might get a bullish divergence one more time but that all depends if, if a dark coin can hold this level over here if it holds this level then we can start talking if not it it breaks it then obviously it might come down test the 0 0.5 level as well okay in the weekly time frame but in the monthly this is going to be a best indication if the price closes below the 72 cents and 744 uh right over here actually to be exact yeah right over there if it closes below that level or below the 72 cent level then price is coming down guaranteed okay but this is it for dark coin hopefully this video brought you some information and knowledge and if you like this kind of content just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much have a good day bye bye